Why is creating YouTube channel art, that banner at the top of your YouTube page, so confusing? And what are you even supposed to put in there anyway? If that's what you've been wondering, welcome to the YouTube channel art ultimate guide. We're gonna dive into everything YouTube banner channel art here in this video. If you are new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and this channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive as a video content creator so that you can become the boss of your own future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if that sounds like your jam. We're gonna jump into this whole channel art thing. Now, what if I told you that your YouTube channel art isn't actually supposed to be about you? Now, that might seem backwards, but since your banner is one of the first things that people see when they land on your homepage for the very first time, it's actually the most important element of your whole entire YouTube page. You're just using that space to let people know where they are and you're not using the space to tell people why they should care and maybe why they should hit the subscribe button while they're here, then you're missing out on some really valuable real estate on your own channel. So if you're creating your channel art for the very first time or you wanna upgrade your channel art or you're just not sure what all goes into designing your YouTube banner, then one of the questions you want to be asking yourself is what do I need to include in my channel art to give people a reason to let them know why they should stick around and hit the subscribe button. So let's say you have a crafting channel and your name is I don't know, Kathy, and you create your banner and it says, welcome to Kathy's craft closet. Well, that doesn't really tell the viewer what kind of crafts you do, and they can't really identify with whether they're even interested in the type of crafts you do on your channel. So instead of welcome to Kathy's craft closet, you could say something like Kathy's craft closet to help you make fun, easy crafts with supplies you already have in your closet. Not bad, right? Now in this video, I'm using Canva to show you the ultimate guide to creating your YouTube channel art. Canva is like a free software you can use right in your browser. You don't even have to download anything. And I also have a template that you can use for your channel art right within Canva. So I put a link to that down in the description below. And you might be wondering, what about photos and logos and all that kind of stuff? Like what should be in there? So let's dive into Canva and get to the specifics. Now, before we dive into that, I have to show you this. You see how at the very top of my YouTube app, I have this blue bar. One of the things I wanna show you in this video is how to customize that color. There's no setting within YouTube to do that. You have to use your channel art. Now, one of the weirdest things about YouTube channel art is the actual size that you have to make your image in order to have that tiny little banner show up at the top of your YouTube channel. Now, the actual image that you upload to YouTube is not a long horizontal banner shaped image. Image, it's actually shaped like a YouTube video is shaped. And the actual dimensions that you need to use for your channel art is 2,560 pixels wide by 1,440 pixels high, just like the template I'm showing you here on my screen, which you can download using the link in the description below. So you're uploading this big, huge image and then YouTube is cropping that into this long horizontal banner. And the parts that you want to show show up as your YouTube channel art, as the banner, they have to be in the middle of this gigantic image and they have to be placed just right because YouTube is going to do the cropping for you. And if you're on a mobile device, a tablet or a desktop, it gets cropped a little bit differently as well. So it has to be in the middle of your image horizontally and vertically. It also has to be small enough so that it's not getting cropped off when you're looking at it on a mobile device. You can also find some pre-designed YouTube channel art templates inside of Canva. You can also use Placeit, Creative Market, Graphic River. I'll put links to all of those places down in the description along with my own template. So for the layout of your channel art, there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. You wanna take into account the sizing and cropping, which we already talked about, but how much text should be there? And how big should the text be? How big should your images or your logo be? There's all kinds of things that you wanna think about here. And so what I recommend is that you have one headline, one main sentence. So with Kathy's craft closet, for example, it was going to be Kathy's craft closet, 
here to help you make fun, easy crafts with supplies you already have in your closet. Now that's pretty wordy. There's a lot of stuff going on there. So we need to kind of dress it up a little bit and make sure that the right parts of that sentence are highlighted. So we kind of have a headline and then a sub headline. And somewhere in there, you may also want to include when you upload your videos or how often what your upload schedule is. That's something I actually need to update on my own channel banner. Now, if if you're gonna put a picture of yourself or multiple pictures, I want you to think about a little bit of balance here. If you have a picture of yourself as your profile image and then you place the same picture in your banner art, then it's kind of redundant and really unnecessary. With my channel art, my profile photo and the picture that is in my channel banner are different photos. So they don't really compete with each other. Plus, just to add a little bit more balance, I added the picture of myself on the right hand side of the channel banner so that it's not right next to my profile image. By the way, the photos you see in my profile and in my banner are done by my friend Kristen Goss from Goss Boss Photography down in Pittsburgh, PA. I highly recommend you invest in really great brand photos for your YouTube channel, but that's a topic for another day. And if you were Kathy from Kathy's Craft Closet, then I would definitely consider having either one nice big photo that kind of displays craft supplies and maybe some of the actual crafts that you create on your channel as kind of like a flat lay type of an image. Here's a really good example from Smart Fun DIY. Now, when you go in to actually design your banner, your channel art, you're, you're probably gonna find that what you create with your design, once you upload it to your channel, YouTube is probably not gonna crop it exactly the way that you were expecting them to. And that's okay, just go in, tweak your design, resave it, re-upload and try again. It's pretty much impossible to get it perfect on the first try. Now, once your channel art is beautiful, perfect, and you're ready to upload it, or at least see how it's going to look on your channel, there's a couple ways you can do that. The easiest way is to go to your actual channel, make sure you're logged in under your channel's YouTube account. And then you should see this little icon show up in the top right, this little camera icon, or you could come down here to this customized channel button and it's going to open up your settings within YouTube Studio, or you can simply get here by going to your YouTube Studio, coming down to customization on the left-hand side, and then instead of looking at layout, you wanna come over to branding. And this is where you can change your channel's profile picture, your banner image, or your video watermark. So for our banner image, I have a new one. I have added a few things, tweaked it a little bit. So I'm gonna hit change and I'm going to select my banner. We're gonna hit open. And this is where it tells me how exactly it's going to be cropped. I'm thinking this is fine. Yeah, I think we're good here. I'm gonna hit done. And then at the very top right, you wanna make sure that you hit publish. Well, if we come back over here and hit refresh, there we go, there's my new banner. It's all white with an all white background. And I just added how often I upload every single week, usually. <laughs> so a couple common questions I have seen about YouTube channel art is, what about my channel name? Should my channel name be in the banner? Should my logo and branding elements be in the banner? And I think what you really have to think about there is, again, balance. My channel is just called Meredith Marsh. Do I need to put that in my banner? And as far as logos, I mean, I don't have a super recognizable logo and my logo evolves over time. So I don't think adding any branding elements would really add to my channel art. But if you have a recognizable logo attached to your brand, then you want it to be instantly recognized in your channel art. You want people who are looking for your channel to know right away that they found your channel. Now, I mentioned that I had a juicy tip about how to customize your YouTube channel colors within the app on your phone. And it's something that you can't do this anywhere inside of YouTube. It's actually a hack to do with your channel art. So if you are viewing this video on a device that is not a phone, then go ahead and pick up your phone, open this up, just open up any channel. You can look at your channel, you can look at your favorite YouTuber's channel and just see 
what color shows up inside of the YouTube app. It might be blue, it might be red, it might be brown or tan. How does that happen and how can you change yours? Well, YouTube automatically looks at your channel art and pulls a color from the channel art that it thinks is on brand for you. For a really long time, mine was like this dark tan color, which is like the worst. And I think it's because it was pulling the color of my hair. It was the color that stood out as being a featured color in my thumbnail, I guess. So the trick to customizing the YouTube app color for your channel is if you remember back when I said that your YouTube channel art banner that you create is going to be like the dimensions of a computer screen or of a video. It's not that long horizontal image, but the long horizontal part of the banner is the only thing that actually shows up on your YouTube channel or in the app. So for the other parts of your banner image that are basically invisible to the viewer, at the very top and the very bottom of your banner area, you have this absolute dead space. You can make those sections any color you want. So I have mine this kind of like blue green color, which used to be the color of my channel in the app. Now it's like a little bit more of a darker blue color. And this is what it looks like when I upload it. But you don't see all of this blueness. That's just the color that I wanted YouTube to pick as the featured color. So when you're designing your channel art, you can just make a rectangle at the top and at the bottom, make it the color that you want and see if the app changes for you. It might not be immediate. And this is like a little bit of a hack that a lot of people don't know about. And who knows, maybe at some point this section of the video will be obsolete. It will be easier to customize the color of your channel within the app. But in the meantime, now you know the secret. So if you're not sure how to actually add images, change fonts and all that stuff within Canva when you're designing your channel art, using my template that you can find down in the description below, I queued up the very next tutorial over here for you where I show you exactly how to create your banner inside of Canva. So I'll see you over there.